the progress the progress is really good hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video today i am back with another project pan update this past month was pretty good for the project pan i did do a lot of good progress that i'm really happy about we did hit pan on some products we did finish some other products as well so it's a very exciting update so with that being said let's just keep the intro short and sweet and hop right into the video so like always let's start off with my two primers that's in my plan we have the Hamish Atlas glow base so last month I did do the marking down here but that was actually incorrect I would say last month I should have marked it in between which would have made a lot more sense I think it was really shocking to make that much progress last month Month. so that was technically not the case it should have just been halfway because now looking through the bottle I'm about here this month so that was a mistake of mine I think when I did my update last month I didn't let all the product run down and didn't stand up because I usually store this facing down like this so I probably didn't have enough time to run all the way down but since I am nearing the end I have been actually just placing it on my vanity tables but I definitely think this coming month I will be finished with my precious Atlas glow face I love this guy so much and then we have my elf Paula's putty primer so I actually when Went back to short nails we've been in a lockdown in Auckland so I haven't been able to get my nails done and I thought you know it was nice to just have short nails for a while I feel like I couldn't do anything with the long nails I really was just holding on to my long nails um, just so I could launch my palette just you know I could have claws because it's the red dragon palette now that I don't have nails I feel like I'm making slower progress because before the way I would take the product, I would take the back of my nail. That might be unhygienic to a lot of people, but I do wash my hands before I start my makeup. But I'll just take it with the back of my hand and like apply it like this. Now I'm rubbing into the pot, so I feel like I'm taking a little bit less product but I think compared to last month there is going to be major major progress I'm gonna give this maybe like another two to three months to finish this up but still a lot of progress I have broken into the border of the primer like this whole side down here is completely gone so good progress and still love this primer I have been using so many primers like sometimes I'm using like three primers it's not necessary but I can't help myself next up is my foundation this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation so the markings did sort of fade away and I think I'm just going to compare it from the first marking when I put this foundation into my plan so I just have this washi tape here and that's where I started I will say I'm definitely more than halfway through this foundation and I have been using it a lot but I've also been mixing this just because this foundation is so yellow on me so I've been mixing it with um, my Perudo BB cream which has more of like a neutral gray undertone to sort of neutralize it a little bit but even when I neutralize it um, it's still very yellow but with that being said um, I only use like half a pump whereas before where I was a little bit more tan I could use like a full pump but then again I'm not really liking so much like full-on coverage so yeah I only use like half a pump every time I use it but I'm using it consistently and we're more than halfway I would give this maybe like I don't know maybe another half a year to be honest um, just because I am using less of the product but I'm using it consistently which is a good thing I think I would go through this way quicker if it matched my skin tone or if it was like not as yellow because it's so yellow and because we've been in lockdown and in general I don't leave my house even if we weren't in lockdown like. and then my concealer this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer I think I'm making more steady progress I think I might start leaving it out so all the products can run down and maybe we can see through the packaging because I feel like I kind of can't I don't know but I have been using this one a lot more than the previous month my under eyes will always be dry like I have fine lines there it's a dry area on my skin but um, it's less dry than the previous month I was like rubbing my eyes a lot so like my eyes were really dry I had a dry moment with my eyes which I'm still recovering from but all I'm trying to say is my skin is getting less dry so I feel like I can use this conceal a little bit more because this concealer is pretty matte and I feel like it's quite drying so I mean I don't use a lot of it but I'm using it more consistently than I was in the previous month so that makes me feel like I'm doing more progress then we have my loose powder from Laura Mercier I don't think I'm gonna mark it again this month because I think it's still where the previous marking is like around that we definitely have less than half of this product left which is you know a good sign I keep shaking it just to see 
but yeah I would say we're still at the same marking as last month but for my powder from Bite Beauty the change makeup powder I feel like that pan is getting big it's just getting bigger and bigger again I use this every day in my makeup routine so it's kind of normal that the pan is getting bigger. Although I did hit pan on this quicker than I expected, but it's good to see pan because I think after this, I'm not going to buy pressed powders like this. I think the only pressed powder I will buy is like translucent pressed powder. I don't think this is a necessary step in my makeup routine anymore. I've been just so used to having this step in my makeup routine ever since I started applying makeup, you know, watching YouTube videos back in the day, pressed powder was like, you know, you had to have it like on top of foundation as well. I just don't think it's necessary for me in my routine and it's good that I don't buy a lot of pressed powders. Like I'll only buy one, finish it and then move on to the next. So after I finish this, I actually don't have any other like tinted pressed powders. The only pressed powders I have are all translucent, which does fit my makeup style now. So, you know, character development. And then we have my setting spray from Colourpop. It's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. You could pretty much say this is finished. Like, I literally have like one spritz left. I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, we're completely done. I'm quite sad that we're done because... In the beginning, I didn't really like this setting mist, like I didn't really use it often. But when I added this into my plan and I started using it more, I started loving it more. And I just really love a good setting mist. And the mist is actually quite fine if you just like spritz it from far away. I definitely would repurchase this one once I go through all of my setting sprays in my collection right now. I think it's a really great affordable setting mist. Um, but yeah, this one is like done pretty much tomorrow. I'm just gonna say this one is finished. This one's finished. So I'm going to introduce a new setting spray into the plan. So this one is from Pixi. It's their Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. I feel like this is more like a skincare item, but it says you can apply it before, after makeup, or any time to refresh in your makeup. So I'm gonna go with that. I mean, it's still sealed. I got this in Pia like a couple weeks ago. You gotta shake it so you can see the oil in there, which makes me like really scared to use. I'll add this in to my makeup routine as a setting mist and we'll see how it is. And if I don't like it, then I'll probably just use it more as skincare and then take it out of my plan and then introduce another setting mist. But yeah, because this is quite new into my collection, I just want to like use it. All right, let's talk about brows, my favorite category. That was sarcasm, not my favorite category, but brow pencils. So I did finish up my Jason Wu brow pencil. I feel like this one finished pretty quickly um, compared to like other brow pencils I've had. I haven't had this one for long, but yeah, this one is finished. So that is one product we panned up. And then I moved on to my NYX micro brow pencil, which is like my favorite brow pencil. I'm currently wearing this shade black because I did dye my hair recently back to black, but it has faded to brown. <laughs> For my Winky Lux Uni Brow, this is literally all we have left, which is like, it's still a lot. I feel like it's still gonna take me a couple months to finish, but we're getting there. We're like at the final stretch of the run through this triangle brow pencil. And I will say, I think I will miss it once it is gone, but I kind of want it to be gone, you know, because uh, this might be like the longest lasting thing in my plan, like this brow pencil. <laughs> has been here forever. As for my brow powder, that pen definitely is much, much bigger, um, which is always exciting. Again, I didn't expect to see pen in my brow powder so soon because this powder is really, really new to me, um, but there is the pen. It is pretty big. That dent is really big. Um, we do see a little bigger dent in here, which might be a little hard to pick up on camera, but I have been using this darker shade to fill in my hairline. I didn't use it today, which I probably should, but I feel like in the past month I did more hairstyles where like my hairline was showing and I have very sparse hair, so my hairline is very visible, but I've been using this brown shade this darker shade to fill that in. I've also been actually using this for my winged liner sometimes when I don't want to go in with like my pitch black eyeshadow. I'll go in with this because it's more like a charcoaly black. So now let's talk about eyeshadow. If you guys saw any of my past videos, then you might know that I did release my own collab palette. 
with Odin's Eye Cosmetics. This is the Red Dragon palette. I'll leave any related videos up here if you want to learn more about it, if you want to check it out, because I feel like for the past week, this is the only thing that I've been talking about. I uploaded three videos dedicated to like this collection. It's part of a bigger collection. It's a whole thing and it's a whole moment. And I've just been living in the moment, really. I've been really enjoying this palette. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today of course so the transition shadow that i'm wearing is actually from that's taupe from colourpop but the eyeliner and the purple pretty much what is all over my eyes is aurora and then i have a luna at the center and then i put solar flare right at center so it could pop even more and that is what's on my eyes for this like very grungy purpley eye i really wanted to do something like more cooler tone, a little bit deeper and like grungy because I wanted to wear this hair bow for today's video. And the palette that's been in my project plan has been Overtake from 3CE, you know, which of course has been a favorite, but I don't know if you guys really noticed, but in the past couple of months, I kept saying I haven't been really using this palette a lot <laughs> because once I got the final sample of Red Dragon, any time that I could wear eyeshadow in my spare time, I would be wearing Red Dragon. I would be testing it out, thinking of different eye looks and everything like that. So I didn't really get to play with this as much and now that red dragon has released i think i'm just gonna take my 3ce palette out for a little bit i don't know if i'm like technically adding this into my plan because i don't really want to pan this palette because it's very precious you know like i want to have this palette forever it's very sentimental but you know because i want this palette to do well i want to keep wearing it and i enjoy wearing it you know it's a palette i created obviously it's shades that i love so i want to kind of add this into my plan instead but i'm not like it's not my goal to pan it if that makes sense uh so yeah red dragon is going to replace overtake just temporarily once this is gone forever i will probably add an overtake again just because once it discontinued although i will probably still use it in my personal life i'll probably use it here and there in my videos but if it's like no longer for purchase i don't want to like use it but it's here for a while so i'm just going to live it up because this opportunity is like seriously you know like it's very hard to come by not many people will have the opportunity to collab with a brand to make an eyeshadow palette you know like i really just want to like live it up <laughs> so and then we have my nude eyeliner from colourpop i have been using this one a lot i will say the progress might not be so different but definitely progress nonetheless better than nothing and i have been using this one a lot all right so we have my contour palette from kaleidos and you guys oh my gosh i'm just looking at this it looks really ugh, it looks really rugged but the progress the progress is really good so first off the bat we did hit pan on that contour and it's a pretty decent pan we have hit pan on all three powders this bronzer here is like there's not much left there's really like only the framing and i've actually been really into cream contour i'm gonna share which cream contour i've been loving in my favorites video and i really have only been using the bronzer to set in that cream contour in not cream contour cream bronzer so i still have been using this every single time i do my makeup but i've been just taking a little bit less but nonetheless still love it i've been actually thinking about taking out bronzers out of my whole routine completely maybe not completely but for like the most part i feel like i don't know i'm just good with just blush i just don't feel like i really need bronzer because sometimes it just looks a little bit too intense i don't know i don't know i'm telling you guys character development or like, should i say makeup development you know there's just some things that i really don't feel like i need in my routine but i feel like i've just had it in my head for so long and you know when you go on tiktok people apply foundation and people apply bronzer you feel like you need to do it too but sometimes that's not the case like if you think you look good without bronzer go without bronzer you know but yeah anyway good progress on this one i was like so happy when i saw the pan i'll be sad when this is like completely finished because it's such a good product from kaleidos and like it's so affordable as well considering how much product you get and you well i use all three shades um so yeah i'll be sad when it's gone but i'm still happy to see progress on it and then for my blush from too faced the love flush blush in <laughs> i will always love you this one was just added in last month i don't think there's going to be too much progress or difference um just because i haven't been using this one as much still was using it but like i said i've been using a lot of the eyeshadows in my palette as blush and you know like the past couple of weeks i've been like you know promoting this palette and i will be promoting it i'm still gonna keep this blush in i still love it and i think it's a really great everyday blush 
um, but the progress is probably not that good. My highlighter though from Dose of Colors Fuego, that pan, that pan is getting bigger for sure. We have, you know, a little segue over here that happened in the past month, which I have been really happy about. And you know, I've always loved Fuego. Like it has always been like one of my favorite highlighters, if not my favorite highlighter, favorite powder highlighter. But the more I use it, I'm like, oof. There's just nothing like Fuego. I just used a little bit today, but I just really love how it looks. Like, it's intense, but it's not too intense. Like, it looks so natural. Like, oh, love this, love this. But I really wonder, like, will I ever be able to finish up a highlighter? That's, like, my goal is to finish up at least, like, a full pan of a highlighter. This will be the one. I'm gonna make this one the one. Now for my lip products. So my Lux Oil, I have been standing it out on my vanity so it has like sunken down to the bottom so we can finally mark it. I think I will probably just put a washi tape but since I'm here, I'll just give a little marking. I would say we probably finished up one third of the gloss. So this is the second Lux gloss I've added into my project pan and I feel like the first time I used that one like way more but this one because you know we've only been inside in lockdown um, I only use this like once a day in the morning before I apply my makeup but before with like the previous Lux gloss that I finished so quickly I always added it into my bag and when I went out I would reapply but now that I'm always home like I don't really reapply so often um, so maybe that's why the progress is slower but still we can mark it now, and I think we finished about a third of it. So that's really exciting. And then we have my Just a Tint Lip Crown from ColourPop, Rise and Shine. Still scraping the inside. I didn't use this one as much this past month. I think if I'm more consistent with it this coming month, we could definitely finish this up. But that, you guys, is pretty much my update, the 13th update in my project pan. Just a little roundup. We did finish up my setting mist, my brow pencil, and then we are just taking out, swapping it out, um, the eyeshadow palette from 3CE. And I think everything else, we made really, really good progress on everything. Like, just looking at everything overall, I'm like, okay, everything had really good progress, I feel. So the pan is bigger, more progress. So I'm really happy with this update. If you guys did enjoy this project pan update please give the video a thumbs up for me i would appreciate it so much it just lets me know that you guys enjoy this video and you would like to see it more but with that being said my neighbors are doing something crazy to the yards and there's a lot of loud noises so i will close this video out now thank you guys so much for watching as always i truly truly do appreciate it and i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye